And are and you using, sorry, are you using a light green or a darker green, like an emerald green or like a leafy green? Um, it, it, it doesn't matter. Like use the color that, colors that you like. It's not so important because it, we're gonna be more easy, more um, concentrating on the brush strokes and how to do it. So the color shouldn't be something that takes time for you to mix or try to match it. Okay. I'm gonna start with the bigger brush. Um, it's nice if you have a brush with a nice tip, especially for the petals for the of the sunflowers. We're gonna start with um, not too dark yellow. And again, it really doesn't matter what kind of yellow you're gonna use. The more important is the brush stroke in the direction that the brush stroke goes. So um, also let me try to show you. So I have a little bit of uh, yellow from tube. So if you work with the tube colors, don't take a lot of paint like you would take with a uh, acrylic. Put a little bit of water inside and then paint with it. I'm gonna start with this flower on the right. What we're gonna do, we're gonna touch with the edge of the, of the uh, brush, the paper, then press and release. And we're gonna continue. Sorry. We're gonna continue with the next one. Just a second, guys. Somebody having trouble connecting. Uh, who is having trouble? Oh, okay, good. So I'm gonna continue the same way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go around the center. So you can uh, turn the paper or you can turn your hand, whatever is easier for you. Touching the paper, pressing, releasing. Um, I forgot to tell you, but flower should be like a third of the paper. Don't make them too small or too big. Sorry about that. I forgot about that. So I'm continuing, touching, releasing, touching, releasing. You can Mix a little bit with orange and continue. Also, you can stay with the same color. It's perfectly fine. We're gonna do another layer or two on top. Continuing. And if you go a little bit over the center, here, it's not a big deal. It's gonna be dark color, so we're not gonna see it later. And keep going like that.
So next step, we're gonna mix or use brown. Um, if you don't have brown, you should have brown, but orange and purple makes brown. And again, stay uh, with watery brush. Don't make the uh, paint too, um, too opaque. So it, it, it needs to stay uh, transparent for now, for the first layer. I'm gonna continue to the next flower. So if I'm too fast at some point, please let me know. The next flower, uh, I'm choosing to do the top petals a little bit shorter than the bottom ones because I'm looking a little bit from the top on this flower. So the perspective changes a little bit the view of the petals. And I'm gonna make them a little bit more orangey, not too much, still yellow, still transparent, but a little bit more orangey. So those on the top gonna be a little bit more shorter than the bottom ones. And also they don't have to be exactly equal and going the same direction. You can make one a little bit thinner, one going a little bit more down or up. You know how the petals on the sunflower go. I mean, a little bit different directions. So down a little bit longer. And some of them, they have a little bit more uh, paint, some of them a little bit more water, it's fine. I'm gonna do again the inside. Okay, now I'm gonna do the inside. And moving to the Light flower. Now, what is the difference here? Um, I'm gonna start with the petals that are on the front because they're gonna go a little bit on top of the brown center. So we need to have them first and then add the brown. So I'm, again, I'm touching and releasing. Touching and releasing. I'm going over a little bit. Okay. 
like that, like that. And now I can move to the rest. I wait a little bit to dry because those um, spaces in between the petals, they have to be brown, but if it's wet, they're gonna go into each other. So I'm waiting a little bit. Okay, now for the third flower, the inside, I'm gonna switch to thinner brush. So I can paint around the petals more uh, detailed. So first I'm gonna go a little bit like that around. Then and again, this is just the first layer, so don't worry too much. Okay, next step, we're gonna um, go back to the flower, uh, to the right flower. Now we're gonna do again the same, but with a little bit more orangey reddish color. Uh, I show you. And we're not gonna go everywhere. We're gonna start from one side, like going a little bit overlapping, but I'm overlapping not the whole petal. I'm leaving a little bit from the yellow under. So I'm giving another, um, another shade of color. So with this dark color, I stay mostly on the, that part, on the left part of the sunflower. And for the other ones, I'm gonna do only at the bottom. Just a little bit like that. Now 
Now I'm going to do the same with this, but I'll add the orangey and more warm and dark color uh, under, like here. And I'm doing this because I want to show uh, where the light is coming from. So from my light is coming from here. So uh, it's not a rule, but it helps a little bit to give more three-dimensional feel. So I'm gonna go here a little bit. I'll make it a little bit darker. And a little bit more color here. And we're gonna have another layer on top when it's dry, so it's still not complete. And the same. The other one. Now here, I'm gonna do only the back petals on the, like that. I'm not gonna work on the front ones for now. Now we can add a little bit darker brown here. And again, I'll go with the darker part, the same side that I did with the orangey red. So keep um, consistency with the dark and light. So here are the darker petals. So I go dark on that side. On the bottom flower, the dark petals are on the bottom. So stay kind of dark more on the bottom. And for the side, it's everything is in shade. So the whole thing is dark. With watercolors, um, it's usually all the light colors are left white or very light color. Because after that, if you if you lose the, the paper, you cannot go back. So what I'm gonna do, uh, we have some light, yellowish flowers here. I'm not gonna leave them white, but I'm gonna take very light, more kind of a lemony yellow. And I'm not gonna paint them uh, precisely, I'm just gonna do a few spots. So I know this is gonna be my uh, light flowers. 
they're going to be here. I'm going to have a little bit here. Some here, something like that. So it's very abstract, not very, but it's pretty abstract painting. We're not going to try to draw like um, botanically or uh, very correct. We're going to more pay attention to the colors, shades, and the spreading between the all the colors together, which in watercolor is the, the whole beauty. Now I'm going to do again with very light blue my vase. So I don't know if you see, yes, you see the color. So very lightly, I'm just gonna kind of give the base color of the vase. So I know it's here. Next step, I'm going to work on the leaf and uh, stems. Now we're going to use green. Um, again, it should be watery, but not too light because the green is pretty dark what we have there so um, we are not worrying about losing the white the paper okay so i'm mixing my green and i'm gonna start with First, I'm gonna add a few leaves. So the leaves, I'm gonna do the same technique like the petals. You touch the paper, press and release. Touch the paper with the tip, press and release. You can change the green colors a little bit. They don't have to be the same green everywhere. Or you can do them the same. It's it up to you, so how, how comfortable you are with that. And another one I'm gonna add here. Also, if you see they're not the same uh, thick, thickness and length. So try not to make them all the same. Maybe do one very small and maybe one, I'm gonna do here one long one and big one like that. And what I do, I basically play with the, um, how I'm using my brush. I use the whole brush a little bit that gives the, um, the nice form of the leaf. I'm going to continue. So I'm going to do a few leaves here. That. 
maybe one here, small one in between. I'm gonna go to that side now, the right side, and I'm gonna make them a bit bigger. So I'll go a little bit up and down, and then, so if I wanna make them a little bit bigger, so you can just go and add more on one side, or use a bigger brush, but no need for that now. They also can go on top of each other. So in the first layer, everything is flat, but when we add the second layer, we're gonna separate them and give them a little bit more definition. I'm gonna add one very dark in between coming from behind here to add some contrast. And they are not perfect, see they're spreading around, they're a little bit on one, one on top of each other, so it's, it's very free. And now I'm gonna go to the stem. So I'm gonna get one stem from the, this sunflower going behind the yellow that I did before. And here just add kind of randomly, they're, they're not exactly randomly. They go, they are stems of the yellow flowers, but I'm not trying to um, also don't go all the way. Give uh, uh, pauses somewhere so you can add more leaves. So maybe you feel that you need a little bit uh, more flowers. So don't do a straight line from top to the bottom. And think about that they all go, they all should go into the vase. So the direction is going to the vase. So this one will go maybe here. The leaves having their own stem. Okay, I'm gonna wait just a little bit more to the base to dry so I can add a few leaves on top. I'm gonna add a few darker leaves. On this side, I'm going over. Here. And one here. And my base is kind of dry. So I'll do yeah. change the color a bit. Okay. 
to another one. And maybe, let's say here, a smaller one. It may change later, we can add more. So now, okay, I'll wait. I'm gonna go back to the flowers. The yellowish flowers. I'm gonna use a little bit darker yellow and just uh, gonna do a texture imitating flowers. I'm not trying to do a particular flower, just the feel of a, a bouquet of different flowers. So some of them could be a bit orangey. You, you can change the colors any way you like it. You can add maybe blues, pinks, it's up to you. I'm gonna add a little bit pinkish here. So just touching with the brush, the paper. I'm gonna add a little bit more here. And I'm gonna add a little stem with small flowers. I'm touching like little dots. and try kind of uh, make them randomly. One of those I'm gonna add here and one I'm gonna add, let's see, maybe here coming out a little bit. So when you have painting, it's very nice to have different sizes of whatever you're drawing. So like here, we have the big flowers, you have the medium flowers and a little bit smaller. And the leaves also, you have big leaves, medium leaves and small leaves. So it gives an interest to the painting. Um, okay, I feel that this is too much white here in the center. I will add a little kind of flower again, a texture, nothing um, specific. And now with a little bit darker green that we used for the flowers, for the leaves, sorry. Um, 
I'm gonna do the leaves and in between here. But I'm not gonna fill the space just like that, filling in. I'm gonna do a little brush strokes that kind of imitate the leaves. So see now on the brush, I have much more paint than before. So this is the spaces that are in the dark and the color is more concentrated. A little bit. Yeah. And next to the right sunflower, don't go too much inside because we're gonna add one more layer of the yellow petals. So we still need white there. And with the dark, I'm gonna continue to the base. So I'm gonna have some straight stems going down. Okay, uh, waiting a little bit. The dark green needs to dry and I'm going to start adding a little bit more yellow petals to make the sunflower richer. In meantime, actually, we can work a little bit on the leaves. So you can add maybe a little details if you want to, to the leaves, or you can make them in the uh, base a little bit darker. So to make them a little bit more defined, I'm gonna add little leaves to the this one and to the other one too. They're just small touches. Maybe a few little leaves here. I'm gonna go 
over this one, I want a little bit more contrast in the front. So just going over again a little bit. And I think I can work with the yellow again. So with the yellow now, I'm gonna add more petals in between the petals that we already have. So I'm gonna add here. And they're more free. Gonna give a little bit more strength here. And you can go over the petals you already have. It makes them richer. And after that, with the thin brush, I'm gonna mix again yellow with a little pink or orange. And I'm gonna a little bit define my petals. So like in the bottom, they're a little bit more dark. On one side. You can also give a little bit of a line, drawing them a little bit, not everywhere. Give some definition. And here. And I'm gonna go a little bit darker around those yellow petals on the side. Next step, I'm going to back to the brown and I'm going to use the brush and go a little bit inside each petal. 
So in between, like, so you know how the flowers are attached to the center. And on the light part, you do just a texture with dots on top. I'm gonna repeat the same to the other one. A little texture. You cannot see well, but there is the texture. And the third one, the same thing, going nicely around. Oh, actually, I forgot to add yellow to this flower. So I'm going to add some extra. I'm going to add a few leaves here, uh, petals. Now the leaves on the vase are dry. I'm gonna add a bit of blue again, but this time I'm gonna add more to the edges of the vase like that. And then take clean brush with water and just Mix the water with the paint. And until it's wet, you can get a little bit of the green and just add some kind of reflection from the um, stems. I'm gonna mix a little bit blue and black for the shadow under the base, but it needs to be very light, not too much color. So something like just 
on that. Not too much. So for the shade here, I'm using the brush completely flat, starting from the vase and going out, like two brush strokes like that, and one or two the other side. And I feel that I need a little bit more dark in the base of the petals of the lot of, of the sunflowers. So with a thin brush, I'm gonna add a bit kind of dark here. A little bit up here, I'll add a bit here. Thank <laughs> you. 